guy comes. <laughs> I'm yagging. Hello. Hi. Hello. Finally. <sighs> I could have put a Leon's on the. the uh, two years document. Up in the air, pushing all along. Not for just document. For my dreams. To always come true because I had a dream. <laughs> If the dream comes true, that is the only time I will feel I had a document. <laughs> Me. So I've been praying for my dream to come true anyway. If it comes, good. But if it didn't come, Even tied on document cannot solve my dream. So my dreams, my goal, good. Yeah, that is for me. My me must come out. If my me comes out. Then I'm a man, a big man, big Muslim man. Because not all men on this earth are silly men. <laughs> I damn it. And the Nigerian mafias, I don't know, the discrimination mafias, the mark of the beast all around them. They discriminate each other. Fatten his shoulder, for example, may not solve nothing. They said, and someone has been threatening me all around, boosting my Bora, telling me, this guy is going to be bearded one day, the way he's going, taking the blabbing, blabbing around the mafia. I think he doesn't fear us. I fear you do, but I fear my soul more than you. <laughs> that is why in Nigeria, listen to my story. In Nigeria, I told one of my close friends, I said, the sisters is already a mark of the base, go on and read your revelation very well. I don't say, I'm not saying you should go there and begin to be religious and begin to take it serious and be people for not listening to you. Just preach the sermon and leave them alone as God wishes. He said, like, go there, preach to them the kingdom of God. Then if they did not hear you or listen to you, Take your, your shoe, dust it, and go. That's what the Bible say, I think. But no one does it praise these days. With, no one prays these days without money, without receiving properties from those they pray to. <laughs> it takes money without calling Malaka to help. Their ministry, <laughs> tithing offerings. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Thieves, why you don't go back to Revelation every time, preach the gospel of Revelation, and tell your church members to sit and watch through what is happening on earth this time around. Trace it back to Revelation. You guys find the real truth. Not every time Malachi, Malachi, your own member, to get our riches you deserve. 
you and Rich Wallace is the same. You got the same, bro. You are thief, Rich Wallace is thief. Criminals are thieves. Yahoo boys, the scammer, frosters, uh, they are thieves. You see, the pastors are thieves. Like, unlike the thieves, the normal thieves, the arm robbers at night, uh, the fraudulents, the frosters, they are thieves. So, what I want you to do now. Get your Bible, open the books of Revelation. After opening the books, because it's not enough to open that book, go to where it is written. See, see, see. Go to where it is written. The end of the world. What kind of be opening in the world? And glance through the particular spot and tell your church members and you, you are not excluded because you are one soul that God will require of at the last time. Tell them to meditate deeply on this and search the world. I mean the world entirely that we are living in these days. Tell them to search the world. If there is anything similar that happens or that is being described in the Bible right now and the ones that is happening in this world right now, do some analysis. I don't say you should call it some of rings and died. Calm down, you will get to that. But after some analysis, you get in there and find out the truth. The truth might be bitter, might spoil your ministry, the foundation and all. You might lose many, many members. For what will you care about? All but the kingdom of God alone. That you need to care about. That is what your God said. It's not the donation. Who will give me 200 million? Who will give me 500,000? Come here, the Lord will bless you as you give. Man, thieves. Oh, all this money you packed. Okay, let us say where it's going to. Let's forget about that. So we might not just be too hypocrite here. But this money is not for God. Even the psalm of David is not for God, purpose for you. You are stealing the mass prayer, stealing the mass blessing, the man labored for God and God reward whenever he pray. That is what happened in the book of Psalm. The prayers is not for the church, it's not for individual uh, someone else. It's just for only David. That is why they say the psalm of David, the prayers and the thanksgivings of David, his request to God, not to a robust house. Every time people pray through the prayer of David, uh, open to this book of Psalm, do this, do that, the Lord purpose for you. That is not the purpose for you. Is the purpose for David that God told David? That is why, no matter his sins, God always multiplies for. He always bless him. Always responds to his prayer very quickly, without any disappointment. 
They are the hand and God. They have close contact. That is what you should do first before you go there and see someone's prayer, someone's request, someone's thanksgiving prayers and all, oh, don't care, I don't know. You see this prayer, you go back to Malacca, what happened there? You chief what happened there? God never told you to chief any prophet prayers and all what happened to the prophet to happen to you. He never said you should even chief him. The mother that God gave us is faith, belief, and you shall receive. Finish. If you believe deeply in God, you don't need the psalm of David for you to receive from God. You don't need Malachi for you to receive from God. You see, the pastor preaches the back of the Bible. The only chapter you need in the Bible is Genesis. Matthew in the Revelation because nothing starts that doesn't have end. These three chapters of the Bible are very fundamental because I would have removed Matthew because you can get the birth of Jesus Christ, the new generation. New Testament from it and the promise of Jesus from the whole day the Old Testament and it came in the book of Matthew glance through it not that it would take years ten years to know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem that he grew up with the perfect miracle he has disciples and all of such but it will take you 20 years to get the revelation, the book of the revelation. So the book of the revelation is more crucial in all the books from the Bible, not Malachi, that your pastor will tell you. Leave Malachi today, you will be saved. Absolutely say not just say but absolutely say <laughs> uh, you see the Bible today and the world today is different. The world doesn't follow the Bible. And the Bible doesn't follow the world. They separate things. They have no business in common. But when pastors are being embraced by the world, you see some first times they go to the Bible, they, they go to the church, I mean, they embarrass pastors and spray those first stars morning in the church in the altar of God. What did Jesus say when they were trading around the church? He threw all those things off and he said, This is not a business center. You see, you turn the Bible around right now. The world and the pastors around the world right now, they are turning the world right down around. They are preaching backs of the Bible. Back of the Bible. Yes. If you're not preaching back of the Bible, you should know by now that 20 years ago, they have been in existence since this the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast is more than three marks now. 
governing the world. And those marks, people bear it for free, legal or illegal. They add it in their forehead. And they happy with it, go along with it, lure people into it. Without anything stopping them, they must have their way. And those marks are released to you. Few seconds from now. One, there is one mark in Nigeria which is called cartism. That cartism is for almost all the youth in Nigeria. They practice this cartism, they have this mark. So when you travel back to another country, they ask you, did you have this mark? If you have this mark, you can roll and dine with them. But if you don't have it, you're gone. You're gonna. You might even be bearded if possible. If not take the case, not taken. See, the second mark is gay. Gay all over the world. They have this mark. They have this symbol governing the world. They have flags, unlike the uh, cultures in our flag as well in Nigeria. Different kind of cultures on is there that you must have to be in one. That you must have to bear one mark before you can be able to leave. Unless they beard you, they cut off your neck. You bear the mark, they cut off your neck. You don't bear the mark, they cut off your neck. It's already there. The symbols are out there. It's not one symbol. It's not one group. No two group. They call themselves mafia. They call themselves rugged. It's there already. The mark is there. In all family in Nigeria, there must be one cultist. The mark is already there. The same with yeah. What is it called? The European countries, the yeah. the mark is there already. Also, passing one family of uh, maybe five, there must be one gay. The same in uh, America or so on. Call. There is one practice called Illuminati that trends there. For you to be a music star, a performing artist, a well-known and decorated music star, superstar, you must get a mark of Illuminati. You must. I, I don't know too much about this Illuminati anyway, but it exists. It has been in existence over 20 years now. Gay have been in existence over 20 years now. Cultism have been in existence over 20 years now. Good night. Fake word.